Today, I want to share with you a profound truth that can transform your life in miraculous ways. Are you ready to unlock the magic within you? Let's dive in. You see, my darlings, we live in a universe that operates on vibration, not just words. Every thought we think, every word we speak, emits a certain vibration that ripples out into the cosmos and shapes our reality. Once we grasp this important idea, we discover something truly amazing, the incredible power that lies within us to shape our lives exactly how we want them to be. It's not just about saying nice things to ourselves or repeating words over and over. It's about becoming the very essence of what we want. Imagine this. You have a magic wand, and with every thought, every feeling, and every action, you are creating the reality you desire. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. So how do we tap into this power? It starts with understanding what we truly want. What are our deepest desires? What brings us joy and fulfillment? Once we have a clear picture of our dreams, we can begin to align our thoughts and actions with them. Instead of focusing on what we don't want, we shift our attention to what we do want. We paint a vivid picture in our minds of the life we desire, imagining every detail as if it's already happening. This is where the magic begins. But it doesn't stop there. We must also embody the vibration of our desires. What does that mean? It means living as if our dreams have already come true. It means feeling the joy and excitement of achieving our goals, even before they manifest in the physical world. So how do we do this? It's simple, my loves. We start by aligning our thoughts, our words, and our actions with the energy of love, joy, and abundance. Instead of thinking about what we don't have or what we can't do, we change our thoughts. We start to notice all the good things in our lives and be thankful for them. We say nice things to ourselves and to others. We know that our words can make us feel better or worse. Think about it this way. Imagine you have a big jar filled with all the good things in your life. When you focus on what you're thankful for, it's like adding more good things to the jar. But when you focus on what's missing or what's wrong, it's like taking things out of the jar. Instead of always thinking about what we don't have, we decide to think about what we do have. Every day, we take a little time to think about all the good things in our lives. It could be something small like a hug from someone we care about, or something beautiful, like watching the sunset. It could even be something yummy, like enjoying a tasty meal. When we take the time to appreciate these things, it's like filling up a jar with happiness. Each little moment of gratitude is like adding another spark of joy to our lives. And before we know it, our hearts are overflowing with happiness and thankfulness. Think about it. Have you ever stopped to really appreciate something simple like the way the sun shines through the trees or the sound of birds chirping in the morning. It's amazing how these little things can bring so much joy if we just take the time to notice them. And it's not just about feeling happy in the moment. Practicing gratitude also helps us to feel more content and satisfied with our lives overall. When we focus on what we have instead of what we don't have, we realize that we already have everything we need to be happy. And when it comes to our words, we're mindful of the impact they can have. We choose to speak words of kindness and encouragement, both to ourselves and to others. We know that our words have power and we use them to uplift and inspire. When we speak words of love and encouragement, it's like sending out ripples of positive energy into the world. We lift ourselves and others up, creating a ripple effect of positivity that spreads far and wide. Let's pause for a moment, my dear friends. Take a good look around you. What do you see? What do you feel? Notice the energy that fills the space around you, like the air you breathe. Are you surrounded by a cloud of negativity and fear like a stormy sky? Do you sense tension in the air or hear the echoes of worried voices? Take a deep breath and acknowledge these feelings, but don't let them overwhelm you. Now shift your focus. Tune in to the subtle vibrations of love and possibility that are always present, even in the midst of chaos. Do you feel a sense of warmth and comfort, like a cozy blanket wrapping around you? Do you see glimpses of hope and opportunity, like rays of sunlight breaking through the clouds? Take another deep breath and let these feelings sink in. Remember, you have the power to choose the energy you surround yourself with. 
You can choose to focus on the positive, no matter what challenges you may face. If you find yourself surrounded by negativity, take a moment to release it. Close your eyes and imagine yourself surrounded by a bubble of golden light. Feel the warmth and protection of this light as it gently pushes away any darkness or fear. Now, open your heart to love and possibility. Imagine yourself surrounded by a circle of loving friends and family, cheering you on and supporting you every step of the way. Feel their love and encouragement flowing towards you like a gentle breeze. As you continue to observe your surroundings, remember that you are not alone. The universe is always conspiring in your favor, guiding you towards the path of love and fulfillment. Trust in this guidance and embrace the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. Now let's dive deeper into the magic of it all. When we make the choice to lift our vibration consciously, something extraordinary happens. We start drawing towards us experiences, people, and chances that match that higher energy. It's just like tuning your radio to find the best station that plays all your favorite songs. Imagine this, you're walking along, feeling good, radiating positivity like sunshine on a warm day. Suddenly, you start noticing things changing around you. You meet kind and inspiring people who seem to lift you up just by being near them. Opportunities seem to pop up out of nowhere, perfectly suited to your desires and dreams. It's as if the universe is saying, hey, you're on the right track. Here are some goodies just for you. Think of it like this. Have you ever been in a room where someone's laughter is so infectious that you can't help but smile? That's the kind of energy we're talking about. When you're vibrating on that higher frequency, you become like a beacon, attracting all sorts of wonderful things into your life. But here's the beautiful part. You don't have to wait for the stars to align or for some magical spell to be cast. You have the power to raise your vibration right now in this very moment. It's as simple as choosing to focus on thoughts and feelings that make you feel good. Start by thinking about things you're grateful for, no matter how small. Maybe it's the warm cup of tea you had this morning, or the sound of birds chirping outside your window. Let those feelings of gratitude fill you up and watch as your energy shifts and lifts. But it's not just about attracting external abundance. It's also about cultivating inner peace and harmony. When we vibrate at the frequency of love, we become a magnet for miracles. So I want you to try something today. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Feel the energy of love we hold shapes our reality. And if we want to break free from bad habits, we must first change the thoughts and beliefs that are holding us back. One of the foundational principles of my teachings is the idea that we are responsible for our own experiences. This means taking ownership of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. It's about recognizing that we have the power to create the life we desire. And that includes breaking free from any habits that no longer serve us. Let's talk about how we can change our minds and break bad habits. It all begins with being aware of ourselves, which is called self-awareness. This means taking a good look at ourselves and understanding why we do the things we do. First, take some time to think about the habits you want to change. Maybe you want to stop biting your nails or spending too much time on your phone. Whatever it is, think about why you want to change it and how it's affecting your life. Next, think about the beliefs that might be making it hard for you to break those habits. These are the thoughts and ideas you have about yourself and the world around you. Sometimes we have negative beliefs that hold us back. Maybe you think you're not good enough or that you'll never be able to change. These beliefs can make it hard to break bad habits because they keep us stuck in the same patterns. Once you've identified the habits you want to change and the beliefs that might be holding you back, it's time to challenge them. This means questioning whether those beliefs are really true and finding evidence to support a different way of thinking. For example, let's say you want to stop biting your nails because you think it makes you look bad. You might challenge that belief by reminding yourself that your worth isn't determined by the appearance of your nails. You could also find evidence to support the idea 
that you're capable of breaking the habit, like remembering a time when you successfully stopped biting your nails for a while. Once you've identified these patterns, it's time to challenge them. Replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations that support the changes you want to make. For example, if you're trying to quit smoking, instead of telling yourself, I can't do it, affirm, I am free from the grip of cigarettes. My lungs are healthy and vibrant. Let's talk about the importance of repetition when it comes to changing our thoughts and beliefs. When we repeat something over and over again, it becomes ingrained in our minds. This means it becomes a part of our subconscious, which is the part of our brain that controls a lot of our thoughts and actions without us even realizing it. So, if we want to change our beliefs and think more positively, we need to repeat positive affirmations regularly. Affirmations are like little messages we give ourselves to help us feel better and think more positively about ourselves and our lives. For example, if you struggle with feeling confident, you might repeat affirmations like, I am confident and capable, or I believe in myself and my abilities. These affirmations remind you that you are worthy and capable of achieving great things. But here's the thing, just saying these affirmations once or twice isn't enough. We need to repeat them daily, multiple times a day if needed, to really make them stick. This is because our brains like repetition. The more we hear something, the more it sinks in and becomes a part of our thinking. Think of it like planting seeds in a garden. If you want your plants to grow, you need to water them regularly. Similarly, if you want your positive beliefs to grow, you need to repeat your affirmations regularly. The good news is, the more you repeat your affirmations, the easier it becomes to believe them. This is because your brain starts to accept them as true. It's like training a muscle. The more you work it, the stronger it gets. It's not just about repeating words. It's about embodying the feelings and emotions behind them. Feel the joy and freedom of breaking free from your bad habits. Visualize yourself living your best life, free from the limitations of the past. Self-love is a crucial part of changing the way you think. Many times, we do things that aren't good for us because we don't feel good about ourselves. Maybe we think we're not good enough or that we don't deserve good things. This can lead us to pick up habits that aren't healthy, like overeating, not exercising, or even being mean to ourselves. But here's the truth. You are valuable and deserving of love, just as you are. You don't have to do anything special to earn it. You are worthy simply because you exist. Understanding this can help you break free from those habits that aren't serving you well. When you truly love yourself, you treat yourself with kindness and compassion. You make choices that honor your well-being and happiness. You take care of your body by eating nutritious foods, exercising regularly, and getting enough rest. You nourish your mind with positive thoughts and affirmations, banishing self-doubt and negativity. It's not always easy to love yourself, especially if you've spent a long time believing otherwise. But it's a journey worth taking because it opens the door to a life filled with joy, fulfillment, and abundance. One way to cultivate self-love is by practicing gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate yourself and all the wonderful things in your life. Celebrate your strengths, accomplishments, and the progress you've made on your journey. Focus on the positive aspects of yourself and your life rather than dwelling on the negatives. Another important aspect of self-love is forgiveness. We all make mistakes and have flaws, but holding on to guilt and resentment only weighs us down. Learn to forgive yourself for past mistakes and let go of any grudges you may be holding. Remember, you are human and it's okay to make mistakes. What's important is that you learn and grow from them. It's important to make self-love a part of your daily routine. 
This means looking after yourself in every way, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Start by taking care of your body. Make sure you're eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, and staying hydrated. Exercise regularly to keep your body strong and healthy. Next, focus on your mind. Practice mindfulness and meditation to calm your thoughts and reduce stress. Challenge negative self-talk and replace it with positive affirmations. Remind yourself of your worthiness and capabilities. Surround yourself with uplifting messages and people who support your growth. Finally, nourish your spirit. Take time each day to connect with your inner self. This could be through prayer, journaling, or spending time in nature. Listen to your intuition and follow your heart's desires. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion, just as you would a dear always. Let's talk about the importance of keeping a positive mindset. It's like planting seeds for a beautiful garden of dreams. Imagine your thoughts and words as little seeds that you're planting in the soil of the universe. When you think positive thoughts and speak positive words, you're planting seeds of goodness and abundance. Positive affirmations are like the water and sunshine that help those seeds grow. When you repeat affirmations like, I am worthy of abundance, I am deserving of love, and I am capable of achieving my dreams, you're nurturing those seeds and helping them blossom into reality. But here's the really amazing part. Your thoughts and words have a magnetic quality to them. They attract similar energy from the universe, like a magnet pulling in metal. So the more you focus on positive affirmations, the more you attract those positive experiences into your life. It's like a magical cycle of positivity. The more you believe in yourself and your dreams, the more the universe conspires to make them come true. Pretty cool, right? But here's the thing, maintaining a positive mental atmosphere isn't always easy. Life can throw all sorts of challenges your way, and it's natural to feel discouraged sometimes, but that's where positive affirmations come in. Now let's talk about the danger of negative affirmations. Have you ever felt like you were so close to achieving something amazing, only to see it slip away at the last moment? It happens to all of us, and often it's because our own negative thoughts get in the way. Negative affirmations are like little roadblocks on the path to success. They're the thoughts that say, I can't, or I'm not good enough, or I'll never make it. And when we repeat these negative thoughts to ourselves, we create barriers that block the flow of positive energy and affirmations. Think about it like this. If you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough or that you'll never succeed, it's like putting up a big wall between you and your goals. No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to break through. Let's talk about the power of shifting your focus from what you don't want to what you do want. Instead of saying, I don't want to be sick anymore, try focusing on affirmations that bring positivity into your life. Affirmations like, I accept perfect health now, are like magic spells that pave the way for vibrant well-being. When you repeat these affirmations to yourself, you're sending a clear message to the universe about what you desire. Think of it like this. When you focus on what you don't want, you're actually giving energy to that negative outcome. It's like shining a spotlight on your problems instead of your solutions. But when you shift your focus to what you do want, you're aligning yourself with positive energy and opening yourself up to the possibility of healing and wellness. Let's talk about gratitude. It's like a magic wand that can transform your life in amazing ways. Gratitude is all about taking a moment to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how big or small they may seem. Imagine waking up every day and feeling thankful for all the wonderful things around you, the sun shining, the birds singing, even just the fact that you're alive and breathing. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you send out positive vibes into the universe. And guess what? The universe responds by sending even more good stuff your way. It's like a big cosmic exchange of happiness and abundance. The more grateful you are, the more blessings you attract into your life. Pretty cool, right? But here's the thing. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you every once in a while. It's a daily practice, something you do consistently to keep your heart open and your energy flowing. So 
How can you practice gratitude in your everyday life? It's easy. Start by making a gratitude list. Take a few minutes each day to write down three things you're thankful for. It could be anything, a delicious meal, a kind word from a friend, or even just the beauty of nature. And don't forget to say thank you out loud, whether it's to the universe, to a loved one, or even just to yourself, expressing gratitude verbally can make a big difference in how you feel. But here's the really cool part. The more you practice gratitude, the more abundance and joy you attract into your life. It's like planting seeds of happiness that grow into a beautiful garden of blessings. Now, let's talk about the power of positive thinking. Every thought you think sends out a signal to the universe. And guess what? The universe listens and responds accordingly. So when you think positive thoughts, you're literally creating a magnetic field of good vibes around you. And the more positive thoughts you have, the more good stuff you attract into your life. It's like a snowball effect of happiness and abundance. All right, let's dive into why it's so important to love and appreciate your body. Think of your body like a special gift, something really precious. It's like your own personal spaceship that takes you on all sorts of adventures every day. Pretty amazing, right? Now imagine if you treated this spaceship with the utmost care and respect. You'd make sure it's always running smoothly, right? Well, that's exactly how you should treat your body. Give it lots of love, kindness, and compassion, and watch how it responds. When you treat your body well, it rewards you with all sorts of good stuff like energy, vitality, and overall health. It's like a magical cycle of positivity. The more love and care you give your body, the better it feels, and the better it feels, the more you want to take care of it. So how do you show your body some love? It's simple. Start by listening to what it needs. Maybe it's craving some nutritious food, or maybe it just needs a little rest and relaxation. Whatever it is, honor your body's signals and give it what it needs. If you're facing health challenges, remember that your body is always communicating with you. Listen to its messages with love and understanding and take inspired action to support its healing process. Let's delve into the incredible power of your thoughts and words on your health and happiness. It's fascinating to realize that every single thought you have and every word you speak has a direct impact on how you feel physically and emotionally. Imagine your mind as a garden and every thought as a seed you plant. When you choose thoughts of love, gratitude, and empowerment, you're planting seeds of positivity that nourish your mind and body. These positive thoughts create a fertile ground for growth and transformation. On the other hand, negative thoughts are like weeds that choke the life out of your garden. When you dwell on thoughts of fear, doubt, and self-criticism, you're allowing these weeds to take root and spread. And just like weeds in a garden, negative thoughts can suffocate your joy and hinder your well-being. But here's the good news. You have the power to tend to your mental garden and cultivate thoughts that support your health and happiness by consciously mistakes and traumas. That's why I often emphasize the importance of mirror work. It's a powerful tool for uncovering the root cause of our issues and reclaiming our power. Mirror work is simple yet profound. It's about looking into the mirror and speaking words of love and affirmation to yourself. Imagine starting your day by looking into the mirror and saying, I love you. What can I do for you today? How can I make you happy? Listening to your inner voice and following through with kindness and compassion. Mirror work isn't just about self-love. It's also about forgiveness forgiving yourself and others for past hurts and mistakes. When we hold on to resentment and anger, we only hurt ourselves. But when we forgive, we set ourselves free. Affirmations are super strong when you say them in front of a mirror. They do more than just boost your mood. They dig deep into who you really are. Picture this. You're standing in front of the mirror, saying something nice about yourself like, I am confident. Then, boom, you hear a little voice in your head saying, no, you're not. Now hold up. Instead of feeling down because of that negative voice, see it as a gift. Yeah, that's right, a gift. It's like the universe saying, hey, there's something here that needs fixing. And guess what? You're the one who gets to fix it. 
So what do you do? You rewrite the script. You flip that negative thought on its head and replace it with something positive. For example, instead of, I am not confident, you say, I am confident and capable. See the difference? You're taking charge of your thoughts and creating a whole new reality for yourself. And let me tell you, it's not always easy. Sometimes that negative voice can be pretty loud, but that's okay. You've got the power to turn it down and turn up the volume on positivity. Think of it like this. You're the director of your own movie, and affirmations are the script. You get to decide what story you want to tell. Do you want it to be a story of self-doubt and insecurity, or do you want it to be a story of confidence and self-love? And here's the cool part. The more you practice affirmations, the more they become a part of who you are. They start to seep into your subconscious and shape your beliefs about yourself. So, don't underestimate the power of affirmations in front of the mirror. They're not just words. They're tools for transformation. They help you uncover the truth of your existence and challenge those negative beliefs that hold you back. Mirror work is not just about loving ourselves. It can also change how we relate to others. Think about your relationships with your parents, partners, or children. By practicing mirror work and affirming love and acceptance, we can create a ripple effect in our interactions with them. It's incredible how a small shift in how we see things can make such big changes in how we connect with others. When we stand in front of the mirror and speak words of love and acceptance to ourselves, we're also sending out positive energy that can affect those around us. Our loved ones may start to notice a difference in how we treat them. They may feel more loved, accepted, and appreciated because we're treating ourselves with kindness and compassion. For example, let's say you've had a strained relationship with your parents. Maybe there's been misunderstandings or hurt feelings in the past. By practicing mirror work and affirming love and forgiveness towards yourself and your parents, you're opening the door to healing. You're letting go of old resentments and making space for a new, more loving relationship to blossom. The same goes for our relationships with our partners. Maybe there have been arguments or disagreements that have created distance between you. But by practicing mirror work and affirming love and acceptance, you're shifting the energy between you. You're creating a more loving and harmonious connection that allows both of you to be yourselves fully and authentically. And let's not forget about our relationships with our children. As parents, we often worry about whether we're doing enough or if we're good enough. But by practicing mirror work and affirming love and acceptance towards ourselves, we're setting a powerful example for our children. They see us treating ourselves with kindness and compassion, and they learn to do the same for themselves. Mirror work isn't just something we do in the moment. It's like a time machine that takes us back to our past, especially to our childhood. You see, a lot of us carry around these old hurts from when we were little, like scars that never really healed. Back then, maybe we didn't feel good enough or worthy of love. Maybe someone said something mean to us, or maybe we just felt like we didn't fit in. Whatever it was, those memories can stick with us, shaping how we see ourselves and the world around us. But here's the thing, those wounds from our past don't have to define us. With mirror work, we can go back to those moments and offer love and compassion to our younger selves. It's like giving that scared little kid inside of us a big hug and saying, it's okay, you are loved just as you are. And let me tell you, it's incredibly healing. As we start to embrace our inner child with love and kindness, those old wounds start to fade away. We realize that we are worthy of love and acceptance no matter what happened in the past. It's like unlocking a door that's been closed for years. Suddenly, we're free to be ourselves without all those old hurts holding us back. We can reclaim our true essence, the part of us that's joyful, curious, and full of love. All right, let's break it down. Picture yourself as a puzzle 
with all these different pieces that make you who you are. Now, some of those pieces might be a little rough around the edges. Maybe you don't like the way they look, or you wish they were different somehow. But here's the thing, those rough edges are what make you unique. They're what make you, well, you. And the key to putting the puzzle together isn't trying to force those pieces to change. It's about embracing them, flaws and all. That's where loving yourself comes in. It's like giving yourself a big hug and saying, hey, I accept you just the way you are. And let me tell you, it's not always easy. Sometimes it means facing those parts of yourself that you'd rather ignore. But guess what? That's where the magic happens. When you learn to love and accept yourself unconditionally, it's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Suddenly, all those things you used to worry about don't seem so important anymore. You realize that you are enough just as you are. And here's the really cool part. Once you start loving yourself, everything else falls into place. Your relationships become stronger because you're coming from a place of self-confidence and self-worth. Your goals become more achievable because you believe in yourself and your abilities. And your overall sense of happiness and fulfillment skyrockets because you know that you are deserving of love and happiness. So if you find yourself in a negative situation or relationship, remember that you have the power to change it. You have the power to love yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you. You must do this before 10 a.m. to fix it. Stop being a victim of yourself and start loving yourself unconditionally.